Hello everyone, let's solve the problem, construct quad tree. Given a n into n matrix grid of zeros and ones only, we want to represent the grid with a quad tree. Return the root of the quad tree representing the grid. Okay, let's quickly understand. What is a quad tree? Quad tree is a tree where each node has four children. That's what we mean by quad tree. Quad means four. Okay. So say the root has four children. Say this node has again four children. Okay. This is what we mean by a quad tree. Exactly four children for each node. Now what is our question saying? We will be given a matrix of dimension n into n, n by n. Okay. And we have to form a quad tree from this given matrix. This matrix will contain only zeros and ones. Okay. Now each node in our quad tree will have two types of attributes. One is the value, another is the is leaf. That is, this one is the value of the node, and this one is the this one is a Boolean value that will tell us if this is a leaf node or not. Let's see. See, this is a node. The is leaf value is zero. That means it's not a not a leaf node. The value is one. Okay. Let's see. This is a leaf node. We can see. Therefore, the is is leaf value is one. For this one, is leaf value is zero. That means it's not a leaf node. That means it has children down below. So th these are the two attributes of our nodes in the quad tree. Now we are supposed to form a quad tree from this given matrix. How? Our matrix will contain either zeros and ones. Now, what does this mean? If our matrix has only one value, okay. Let's see. We have a matrix this, this, this. If our matrix has only one type of value, it means it it's a leaf node. Okay. Let's see here. This particular matrix, if we consider this one smaller one, it has only one type of value, right? That means it's a leaf node okay and if a matrix sub matrix has different values that means mixture of zeros and ones that means it has children down below okay now initially this is our leaf node okay this whole matrix represents our leaf node okay if if our matrix has only one type of value that means we have no children down below if our matrix have combination of zeros and ones that means we have to divide it into four parts okay and we have to make four children each sub matrix will represent each four children all right so this is what we are given this is the whole matrix this root node represents our whole matrix now our nodes have been given some given uh, some names okay the node which will represent this sub matrix will be called top left this is the top left we can see clearly this will be called the top right this will be called the bottom left and this will be called the bottom right so what we are we seeing this one contains all same values that means it's a leaf node this one that is bottom left it's all same values that's why it's a leaf node this bottom right it's all zeros no ones that means it's also a leaf node leaf node this top right it has zeros as well as ones that means the values are varying Right? If it were all ones or all zeros, it would have been a leaf node. Our tree would have ended here. Okay. But it has different values, right? That means it has to be again divided into four parts. We, are, we have been said recurse for each children with proper subgrid. We have to recursively create all these children. Okay. Now let's quickly thoroughly go through our question statement. Okay. A quad tree is a tree data structure in which each internal node has exactly four children. Besides, each node has two attributes. Well, true if the node represents a grid of ones, or false if the node represents a grid of zeros. Okay. Is leaf true if the node is a leaf node on on the tree, or false if the node has four children? Okay. We can construct a quad tree from a two-dimensional area using the following steps. If the current grid has same value, that is all ones or all zeros. Is leaf is going to be true, yes, and our value is going to be the value of the grid and set the four children to null and stop. Set val to the value of the grid. That is, if the value, all the values in the uh, grid is one, so the value would be one. Otherwise, if all zeros, then value would be zero. If the current grid has different values, set is leaf to false. Definitely, 
if our grid has multiple values that is mixture of zeros and ones then it it will have children's down below and set value to any value it's our wish and divide the that current grid into four subgrids shown in the photo records for each children with the proper subgrid if our value are if we have zeros and ones both of them in our grid then it will have to be divided into four subgrids right that means four children nodes let us quickly try to create the quadri of this matrix okay let's quickly try to create our quadri from our given matrix okay so initially this is our root node okay now if we see we will see that our grid contains ones as well as zeros that means it's not a leaf node so we will have four children two three and four now what about the attributes our value is going to be say anything if we have zeros as well as ones it has been said that you can set the value to anything and the is leaf let's call it i l is leaf is going to be false right it's not a leaf node it has children down below okay now what are these this is the top left that is this top right that is this bottom left that is this and bottom right that is the last one okay in this grid in this subgrid we can see we have all same values that is one so therefore what is the value going to be for this one one is it a leaf yes it's a leaf why all values are same it's a leaf node set it to true okay let's see top right our top right says we have zeros as well as ones right that means it has to be divided into four more children right it will have children set the value to anything let's put one is it a leaf is leaf false bottom left this one it has only ones let's set the value to one right is leaf yes it's a leaf set it to true now the last bottom right it has all zeros set the value to zero is it a leaf yes it's a leaf set it to true now this one had zeros as well as ones right that means it has to be divided into four more parts let's divide it one two three and four okay now let's look at the first top left top right bottom left and bottom right okay for bottom left what is the value it's all zeros value is going to be zero is it a leaf yes all are same it's a leaf okay let's look at the top right top right is all zeros set it to zero is it a leaf yes all zeros it's a leaf bottom left all the values are one is it a leaf yes on the bottom right all the values are one so value equals to one is it a leaf all the values are same it's a leaf true since we don't have any children down below we will return from here we will return we will return we will return they already returned they returned this will finally return with its children then we will return our root node i hope it's clear this is pretty much the problem now let's try to build our algorithm okay what we are supposed to do we are supposed to first check in the given matrix do we have all zeros or all ones right first check for same values okay if all are same return a new node new node of what set the value to either 1 or 0 and the is leaf parameter is going to be true return it otherwise if it's not a leaf node then what we will do we will recursively call our function separately on all these four sub matrices right that's we are what we are supposed to do right so we will have a top left we will have a top right we will have a bottom left and we will have a bottom right sub matrices right now initially what we are doing we are checking if all the values are same or not that means from this we will traverse the whole matrix right in a n into n fashion 
right so what is our uh, looping range going to be we are going to start from 0 to n what is it it is the rows and for each rows we are going to do 0 to n columns okay now when we have divided our matrix into four parts right we are going to again call our function in each of them let's call our function name it f for now okay what we are going to pass we are going to pass our grid fine we are going to pass our grid now the thing is initially we checked our whole matrix right but when our matrix has been divided into four parts we have to check each part like this this and this this and this right so for that we have to specify our range isn't it for our top top left uh, sub matrix we will have to specify the range so what will be the range see when we had our original matrix to traverse we started from 0 0 right so what is the top left our top left is our top left is this matrix now what is its dimensions its dimensions is 0 to what n by 2 right we will have to check from 0 to n by 2 right we will not check n by 2 like our loop we do less than n right we will have we will check till n minus 1 so that's what we are doing right since we are checking this matrix this has a length of n by 2 now right initially it was n now we have divided it into two parts similarly for this one this one will be from here to here right so and uh, for this matrix it will be from here to here here to here similarly for this here to here and here to here so for that we will have to specify our coordinates right now what will be our coordinates say for the very first matrix we will have to call our function right that is grid and let's call our uh, coordinates initially r and c row and column okay and what is our length going to be it's going to be n now okay now when we are on this main biggest matrix our row is going to be what starting from zero and column also starting from zero right this is the row this is the column okay so let's take it as this is r and this is c so initially our r and c is going to be zero and zero right so we will traverse from zero to n by two our column will go from zero to n by two and our row will also go from 0 to n by 2 okay so this is our top left right so for top left our range is 0 to n by 2 0 to n by 2 okay therefore row column our size decreases to n by 2 okay this is this is the first sub matrix okay what about this one what about this one what is what are the things changing in this matrix we will iterate from this position only right that is the row remains the same okay row remains the same right but our column is starting from here our column is starting from here here to here we have to check right so what is this position this position is nothing but column plus n by 2 right because if this is n and this is the n this is n by 2 and this is n by 2 okay and if we are here if our column is here in order to reach here we have to add an n by 2 right very simple thing so our column is going to be n by 2 and our size remains the same right that is n by 2 now let's look at the bottom left this is our bottom left and our starting position is this right so what is this position this position is r plus n by 2 this was r this is the second half right so in order to reach here we have to add the first half to our row right in order to reach the beginning position of our second half therefore in this our row is going to be r plus n by 2 and what about the column 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 is remaining the same right we will check from here to here right so our column remains the same and the size remains the same n by 2 okay now what about bottom right this is the one our starting position is this what is that this was column this was r this is our starting position right so we will, we will have to move our column to here right that is 
column plus n by 2 and we will have to move our starting position of row to here that is row plus n by 2 therefore for our bottom right grid it's going to be n by 2 plus n by 2 size is remaining the same n by 2 right then when we will call uh, for this one our size will get divided by 2 again right when it was 2 okay then when we will do another by 2 it will become n by 4 right so this will keep happening recursively now when we have created our nodes right we have created our children nodes top left top right top uh, bottom left and bottom right we will create a node okay we will create our current node which will have these as our children now what is the first attribute or first attribute is the value what will be the value if the uh, values are different that is it if it has zeros and as well as one we can put anything and is it a leaf is leaf is going to be false is leaf is going to be false then put the children top left top right bottom left and bottom right right at the end what we will do we will return this we will return this node it will recursively go to the depth and create our nodes right from each cell and it will return and then finally return our we will return our node okay so this is our algorithm now let's code our solution we will have a method for us let's call it helper method help we will pass our grid our starting row and column column indexes are 0 and 0 and our size is initially n what is n and it's not defined it let's pass grid dot length okay now let's write our method it will have a return type of node okay help it has our grid what else and r and c and the size int n okay i will do exactly what i have done here okay now we need to see if all the values in the grid are same or not so let's have a boolean variable say all same initially let's set it to true and in order to compare we will have to, we will need to keep a initial value right let's call it init initial say grid of row and column okay now for int i equals to r from our uh, row index i goes to what r plus n i plus plus why r plus n see why we are doing that initially we are here right that is r is 0 and we are supposed to go till n right therefore r plus n means 0 plus n that is n 0 to n now let's say we are we divided our submatrix n by 2 n okay now when we do till here that will be 0 to n by 2 right but when we do from here our r would be 0 1 2 3 and 4 right and this will be 4 plus n by 2 isn't it this will be 4 plus n by 2 right so we will traverse from r that is 4 till r plus n by 2 right this is not n by 2 this is this n by 2 is just the size okay so r plus n now let's do it for our column int j equals to c j less than what column plus n j plus plus if our grid of i comma j is not equals to our initial value that means we have more than one value in our uh, grid what we will do we will set our all same to false that means all are not same and we will break out when we have found out that there contains there exists more than one type of value in our grid we will try to break out of the, of our complete loop right but if we put this break it will only break out from this loop right then we will have to put another condition here for so for this purpose what i will do i will use a label it's not necessary but uh, you can put a condition like if all same is false then break out from here as well right but i will directly do here break label break what outer loop what it will do 
it will directly break this main for loop okay we have broken out we have found more than one type of value in our grid but let us first put the condition which condition this condition check for same value if all same return the value of the grid and a true that is if all same is true return a new node new node of what is leaf will be true and what will be our value see our value is a actually a boolean variable okay so we need to set it to a boolean uh, value how if we have all ones it's going to be true if all zeros it's going to be a false so let's say our initial value equal equals to one if it, if it's one it will put a true if it's false it will put a false right okay otherwise what we will do we will recursively call our methods for each subgrid let's call our uh, node top left equals to help help us how put the grid our column a row our column as it is and our size becomes n by 2 isn't it for our top left our row and column starting position remains the same okay let me copy it for for the rest of the sub matrix matrices this is the top right this is the bottom left and this is the bottom right okay now this one for top right our row remains the same our column is has shifted to n by 2 n by 2 more right plus n by 2 size remains the same okay our bottom left our row has shifted down so plus n by 2 and our column remains the same for our bottom right our row shifts as well as our column also shifts right now it will go to the depth and it will create the children okay our children are top left top uh, right top, bottom left bottom right now the current node you will have to create the current node return new node new node what what will be the value put the value anything let me put false doesn't matter is it a leaf no it's not a leaf what else will we go go here our top left top right bottom left and bottom right these are the parameters of our node so top left to, uh, top right bottom left and bottom right it will go to the depth it will create the uh, children nodes okay for our current node and then we will put these children node in our current node and we will return that's what we did we went to the depth created the children nodes then returned from here then created this one right and it has all the children nodes contained in it then we returned otherwise if the uh, all same was true that means no leaf node we return from here itself setting the value to true or false and all same that is if is leaf to true right so that's how things are taking place so this is going to be our solution now let's try to run it let's submit there we go now what is the time complexity our time complexity depends on how many times our recursive function is called our recursive function what does it do it divides the size to uh, half the size at each step right so at each step we are dividing our size by two and how long can we do it until and unless the, it is no more possible to our to divide our size that is when it becomes one right so what what are we actually doing we are dividing our size by two and that is the thing on which our time complexity is go going to depend so you know uh, for a number to divide by two until and unless it's become not at all divisible what is its time complexity it's log two of n right so for our calling our uh, recursive uh, function the time complexity is going to be log of n and at each recursive call what are we doing we are traversing the whole grid right that is the n into n time complexity work right that is n into n so our final time complexity is going to be n square log of n okay now what about the space complexity it's going to be a log of n now what is log of n our log log of n is the 
height of our tree when we traverse a tree recursively it creates a recursive stack space of the height of the tree okay and the height of our tree is log of n okay so this is all about this problem if you like this video do hit the like button share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and i will see you in the next video bye bye